welcome back to the channel guys and welcome back to Swan Valley. So we're here and we've got just a night, but it's looking very good. I mean, the pressure is ridiculously low. Um, any of you guys that watched the last vlog, we, uh, we had our first out of here, which was a beautiful uh, sort of linear mirror. It was lovely. Um, that was out from the back bay. Um, but I've actually gone out again last week. Now I couldn't vlog it because it was just a quick midweek overnighter, um, the old quick overnight. Um, but it was, I was off early early doors, so I didn't have a lot of time. There's no point in trying to film when things would have been dark within an hour. So, but I managed to get a lovely common. So that's the first 30 out of uh, Swan Valley. So funny enough, we're back in the same swim. Now I haven't come in here just because we caught one. I've actually lapped the lake a couple of times and there is so much pressure up the other end in the um, sort of main body of the water. There's a lot of anglers all down that one side. So what I've done is loop the lake. Now there's only other, one other angler and that's he's fishing in the, in the sort of point, not the point, the, um, over by the bridge there. Now that's the only angler on the whole of this, this um, part of the lake. And I have seen just, just a minute ago, two fish cruising. So that was enough for me to go and get the kit and get back in here. So that's what's, that's what's what. I will show you uh, the footage of, the, um, of that nice common we had last week. Um, I'll put that up now and you can watch that and I'll get my stuff, which is at the top of the hill. I need to bring all that up down here. Right, be back in touch when we've got our stuff sorted and uh, I'll let you know where the rods are going. First 30 from Swan Valley. Lovely result. So yeah, happy days. The old tactics are working. Just fishing them chods really subtle into the area, not splashing leads about. Just fishing them just over the sort of low-lying silt. So what I'll do is just pull them back. The other side. Right, here's the other side. Just up for you. There we go. It's the other side. Done it.
Right, we're in. So it's only a baby, but it's a result. So it didn't take long again. Oh, I've had a schoolboy error, I forgot the jackets in the van, so I'm gonna have to go back and get that, but I'll do put the uh pretty show you like I say it's only a little tiny one but it's a result we're off the mark. So they're in the area, we knew they were, we could see them. Come on, settle down. Okay, mint on the edge. I'm trying to let it just settle a little bit. There we go. It's only a little tibbler, but it is more than welcome. So come on mate, come on. Get her up one more time. The other side's pretty much the same, like keeping that too long, so I'm getting soaked. So there we are. Little perla. Right, result, happy days. Yeah, we're off the mark. It's pretty much exactly what happened when I had the common the other week. Um, same, same thing. Basically, I got my rod, my first two rods out, couldn't get my third one out, and it was already away. So, yeah, I think it's just, just being stealthy and getting them out with the boat. It's just um, got me an extra bite on this rain. It's just been relentless. Started again. Every time I get the flipping camera out, it just decides to pee it down. But anyway, the, uh, yeah, this is the match bay. So I think there was a chap down here by the uh, by the bridge bridge there where that little channel is. Um, but yeah, that is all mine down to here. This is the sort of shallower end. But there's been, yeah, I've not seen anyone else now. It's quite a lot of pressure over the other side, a lot of anglers. Um, so I've decided to come out of the way and it, oh, at the moment it's worked. So we've had a little one. I'll show you what I've done. So basically that's come on a nice little yellow chod again. Now I'm fishing my right hand rod to sort of round this sort of area where the, this tall tree is left hand rod just slightly oh no it's this tree towards this tree um not left hand sorry middle rod to that one um and they're just both on the chods but what i've done is just to try and keep the noise down is i've actually towed them out with the bait boat now i've never really done that before obviously bait boats are all new to me so yeah i've been towing the baits out and just dropping them off the back so it slides out um and it's worked a treat because i've not been crashing leads about um, so yeah, all I've done is push the bead up, give myself a good couple of foot, and um, yeah, we've got ourselves a bite. So, and it's nice and close. I've just actually scattered a few buoys around it, not loads, but I've just got handfuls and just been throwing them in. So it's, it's nice and easy fishing. And my left hand rod, I'll be very quick because it's starting to pee it down again, is under this little snag here. So I've just got a nice little D rig down there, a um, nice little wafter. Um, yeah, something smelly, and hopefully we can um, draw a bite there. But yeah, I've not really seen anything of yet um, since we've had the bite and obviously the rain has settled to a point. But yeah, I've not seen anything yet, but we'll see. But anyway, I'm going to get the kettle on, I'm going to go, uh, going to have my lunch and I'll be back in touch in a bit when um, hopefully there's a little bit more action.
Right, so a little update. It has been dry for about half an hour, which um, yeah, is a massive shock. But no, the main update is um, I've had to do, redo my middle rod. I've had a couple of liners actually on, on both the chods. Now, I don't know whether it's, uh, it could be grebe, it could be, anyway, something could obviously pull through because me bobbing up to the top, held there and dropped a little bit and it just stayed there. And I think something had moved, moved the rig anyway. I thought well, I'm gonna have to have a look and um, yeah, reeled it in and actually it was all okay, but I wouldn't have been happy sitting behind that because um, yeah, that could have been pulled into weed. It could have been a tench, you know, I'm not sure because I had tench last week and didn't mention that. So yeah, I had two tench last week. So could well have been a tench, but anyway, Rod's back out on the spot, um, all's good. So yeah, the birds are singing. We are blowing, um, are blowing a bit of a hoolie to be fair. I think we'll just check the weather happened. It's about 30, uh, 30 for, uh, 40, five mile an hour winds um for the next sort of few hours so yeah if the uh sound quality is not great i do apologize but i think we're sort of covered here it's not as bad but yeah it's sort of gusty you know all of a sudden you get this massive great gust through and um yeah it really does pump down the lake but anyway i'm gonna uh go and get myself a nice cold beer so it can only mean one thing here we go <laughs> Right, so this week's beer of the week. Now, special mention goes to Mark Burberry, who sent me a message quite a while back, to be fair. Um, and this is a beer that I've seen, um, I've seen it a few times actually, and always flipping look past it. So, anyway, finally picked one up from Sainsbury's yesterday. So, without further ado, this week's beer of the week is Warsteiner. 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 So, um, yeah, had to be a German with a name of Warsteiner, didn't it? So yeah, it's a German beer, what have we got? So it says here, naturally brewed according to the German purity law. Premium beer, quality from Germany. There we go. Family tradition since 1753. Warstein in Germany. And that's that, it's a 4.8. So let's give it a bash. Have a look, oh, where's my keys? Yeah, never tried this one. So, um, yeah, like I say, I've seen it a few times in the shops. Um, always uh, forgot to pick it up. There's always been other ones that catch your eye. But anyway, happy days in a bottle as well. Lovely jubbly. Cheers. Good bubbles. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, I like that. One more go. That's really, really nice. Yeah, spot on. I don't know what it tastes like, but that's, that's really nice. Really, really nice. That's one of the best ones I think we've done. Yeah, great shout. So yeah, this week's beer of the week, Warsteiner. Right then guys, so I'm going to probably leave it there. It's probably got about an hour and a bit until it gets dark. Um, but we are getting some big gusts of wind now. Um, as you can probably see, obviously with this bank protects it. The wind's coming across here and pushing down that way. Um, yeah, it sort of comes in big gusts. And it's, uh, yeah, 40, I look on the BBC app and it's saying 45 mile an hour winds for the next few hours. So 
yeah it's quite um it's quite breezy and i'm obviously on the back of it so i'm just hoping they ain't gonna follow that um considering you know it's only sort of eight nine degrees it's not exactly warm so i'm hoping that i made the right decision and they might just got drift off the back of it especially with the pressure that's on the um the other side there <clears throat> but yeah we'll see we'll see i haven't seen anything since we've caught that fish and it may have spooked the area but Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. But anyway, I'm going to probably put the camera away. Um, it's getting quite chilly, actually. I'm going to um, settle in for the night. But like I say, I'll keep my eyes peeled and hopefully something happens through the night. I'm not going to do any more now. I can't, I'm not going to put any bait out. Obviously, there's no, no point in that. I've scattered a few baits around it. I've got the two chods back on the spot. A little snag spot. Not feeling massively confident because they're not really... I haven't seen them in the snags yet. If I do see them, then obviously that's the first show. There's one there, it just showed. Hopefully it'll show again. Go into, no, but that's the first, that's the first fish I've seen. So they're still in this bay. Um, but obviously this is the shallower end over here. So hopefully they'll, um, they'll still be here. Anyway, I'm waffling. I'll leave it there, guys. Um, if anything happens, obviously, I'll let you know. If not, see you in the morning. <clears throat>actually a good morning we've got no rain and there's a strange orange thing over there trying to come out so yeah it's uh, after that fish in the night um i thought right i'm gonna set my alarm uh, cancel my alarm it was set for six o'clock so 
I thought cancel that, I have a nice little bit of a lane, so I ain't got to go until nine. But um, yeah, this little fella down here has had something to do with it. So again, not a big one, but uh, yeah, very nice um, alarm call. So that got me up, it's just before six. So we've had a couple of cups of tea, um, and I think it's about time we dig her out now. Um, so anyway, let's get all the gear sorted. I think I'm gonna move away from the quagmire now, and we've got uh, no rain, maybe. Get some pictures done over there. All right, see you in a bit. Right, it's obviously going to kick off now. It's been resting for half an hour, but it's a lovely one. Let's see if we can hoist her up. No, she's going to have it. Tensing. <laughs> Already tensing. It's a lovely one. I'll show you this side first, but I think the other side's better. It's a nice one. Well you know we can do this. There we go. So as you can probably see, it. yeah, lovely. The other side, this side's better actually. I'll show you this side. Yeah, nice one, probably. Uh, Double. Right. Yeah, more than happy to wake up to that. Right, let's swim around and show you the other side. Got this side's bigger. Right. Settle, mate. Settle down some. It's moving actually on the mat. near one of the biggest in here, we can, but I'm oh, gonna catch these, lovely. Perfect. Right, I'll get some pictures and we're uh, slipping back. I might even just flip that John out. We've got, we've got a couple of hours, you never know your luck. I think it's worth pinging it back out in the area. Won't bother with a boat. We'll see if we can snare one more before we go home. So unfortunately guys, it is that dreaded time where I've got to pack up and it's something I've been putting off because it is like the Somme over there, but yeah, it's gonna get filthy. But yes, it is that time I've got to get cleared up. We've got about an hour's break looking at the weather app. Um, so uh, yeah, it's about time I've got, got cleared up now because the, uh, the rain's gonna hold off for a little bit. So anyway, the tactics have worked. Um, it's obviously, you know, free fish here is, is pretty good. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, okay, they're not the big ones we're after, but it shows the tactics working using using the chods dropping them off the boat finding them firmer areas with the deeper so yeah we'll keep doing it whether the bright ones will continue to work obviously it's still early spring so they'll probably change but it's being able to adjust main thing is obviously it's a smaller lake i can now find them i think that was a problem with virginia it's all right in the spring when you can locate them but when uh yeah when you couldn't find them and you've got short overnighters and yeah and obviously the bream to contend with so yeah, this is, uh, yeah, it's working so far, so good. So yeah, mega result. So anyway, like I say, most weeks, get them beer of the weeks in, because um, obviously I will get through them. I've got my little list that it's growing. So yeah, if you can, send them over and I'll try and find them. And um, obviously, yeah, if you like the channel, please subscribe, because it all helps. And uh, yeah, and obviously give it the old thumbs up and all that jazz. So yeah, so I will be continuing on here, Swan Valley. I want to try and get one of them 40s. That's my aim, my little target to myself this year. So I will be having a, a campaign on here. So yeah, you can obviously book on the Go Catch app now, which um, flicks over the next few days, actually, April 1st. So you can book on. So um, yeah, the winter ticket is coming to an end. I will be continuing my little campaign on here. So yeah, so if you liked it, obviously look out for the next session. So anyway, guys, take it easy. Have a lovely Easter. We'll see you next time on the bank.